In LTE, a primary resource block or PRB used to consist of 12 subcarriers of 15 kHz each totaling to 180 kHz bandwidth in the frequency domain. In time domain, these subcarriers had one slot of 0.5 millisecond that had either 7 or 6 OFTM symbols. Here, the resource block has a fixed matrix structure with a resource element represented by one symbol in a subcarrier. But 5G NR resource block or NRB contains 12 subcarriers of multiple subcarrier spacings, having each slot of 14 OFDM symbols. These are transmitted in the frequency domain only. As 5G offers flexibility in transmitting multiple numerologies simultaneously in the time domain. Moreover, NR resource block bandwidth is not fixed and depends on subcarrier spacing. For mu equals 1, for 12 subcarriers with spacing of 30 kHz, bandwidth per resource block becomes 360 kHz. This can be further extended to higher values of mu. Now, these bandwidths after OFDM multiplexing into RF carriers are transmitted into the air interface in the form of radio frames. In those radio frames and subframes, the slot composition in terms of OFDM symbols remains unchanged in 5G NR, but the slot duration as well as the slot count in a subframe changes depending upon the numerology or subcarrier spacing. Similarly, the use of slots may vary depending upon the mode of transmission like FDD or frequency division duplex mode or the TDD or time division duplex mode. In the case of FDD, all symbols within a slot for a downlink carrier are used for downlink transmissions only and all symbols within a slot for an uplink carrier are used for uplink transmissions only. Whereas in TDD, it is possible that a slot may not be configured to be fully used for either downlink or for uplink. So, slots can be of three types, downlink, uplink and flexible.